So there is another vulnerability and interesting one. If we go to the home page, let's just I just reloaded a few times. Uh, we can see that it sends a request to API v2 release 001. And I wonder what this 001 thing is. So for instance, if you have 001, it says 304 not modified. It says two, it says okay. If you say 000, it's also okay. I think it compares the version of application to the version we have. And the question is where it gets the, the version of the application and how. So let's try to break it as always quotes. And sure enough, the quote breaks it and breaks with well, first of all, we have trace back, <laughs> and trace back, and trace back is a big thing. We can see a whole lot of bunch of information about the application, where it's located, which files it has. So it might come in handy, which can just through exceptions get some information we're not supposed to have. But the interesting part here is it says XPath exception. So now we know that whatever we pass gets substituted into XPath. XPath is a language for selecting, it's, it's query language for selecting some data from XML or, or HTML files. Mm, let's try to exploit it. So now we broke it, let's fix it again. Uh, apparently we don't fix it because it's it's similar to SQL injection. So you remember we had something similar for Mongo. If they queried something like this, we want to have a valid expression. So we open and close the code and put something in the middle that will make it valid. And in this case, well, we can say that or empty string is equal to whatever, well, to empty string, right? Let's see if it works. And yeah, it works. We get, we get a whole bunch of information. Well, our release version is located in the application config.xml file. And if we just say, or empty string is equal to empty string. We say that this query is true for all nodes and it will just return us all nodes available. So first it returns release, but then it returns different users, user login test, password test, SQL root, my secret password, MongoDB password. Ah, it's interesting. Ah, I wonder if test test works actually. Let's give it a try. Test, test. Oh, hey, it works. Amazing. <laughs> so we also get some credentials we can use. That's, that's pretty cool. 